How's it going, everybody? Back with a quick video, a little bit of a different one today. A little instant reaction from the Vikings Niners game. Uh, Vikings pull it out 22-17. Um, but that's not what I want to talk about here. I want to talk about the end of the game. So end of the game, Jawan Jennings has inside leverage on the corner. I don't know who, don't know who it was. If it was Byron Murphy, somebody I don't know. Jawan Jennings has inside leverage, and basically what that means is the corner that's lined up against him. If you got the wide receiver here in the corner here. The corner's playing outside leverage. He doesn't want to give up the sideline. He wants to force Juwan Jennings back into the middle of the field. So, of course, Juwan Jennings running a running a post route, so he's going to come up and then into the or up and then into the middle of the field. Uh, decides for God knows what reason that he's going to try to fake outside. He's going to take an extra step outside. Brock Purdy, we've talked about it all season. He's a great anticipation guy. He throws the ball early a lot. He throws it to a spot rather than to a player. So, Jawan Jennings takes that little extra step out. He's well beyond the throw. Cam Bynum makes a great diving interception at the 29-yard line. It is what it is. It's whatever. Uh, Brock Purdy gets grilled on the internet for it because people don't know what the hell they're talking about. Jawan Jennings has inside leverage. The guy's giving him the post route, and Jawan Jennings makes the route harder than it is, takes a step or two outside, throws the whole timing of the route off, and uh, Brock Purdy obviously gets uh, gets docked with the uh, interception because the internet is what it is. Then we go to the next drive. The Vikings take the ball down. They they try to kick a 50-yard field goal, which you're the Vikings. I don't know why you're playing for a 50-yard field goal, which is still just going to make it a one-possession game, by the way. You're either up five or you're up eight. doesn't really make too big of a difference. Uh, but the Vikings play for the field goal. They, they miss it. Brock Purdy gets the ball back. The Niners have zero timeouts because – they're trailing. They had to burn them on the uh, Vikings offensive drive to get the ball back. And also they had to burn one of their timeouts early in the, in the third quarter uh, because they didn't get the play in or some shit. I don't know. The, the, the noise tonight was getting to Kyle Shanahan and Brock Purdy. I don't know. That's, that's the biggest gripe that I had really uh, about the game was that they had to burn shitty timeouts. They burned one, uh, one of their three in the first half. After the two-minute warning. They got the two-minute warning timeout, and then they ran on the field, and then they had to call a timeout. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Brock gets the ball back, tries to make a Brett Favre hero ball play because nobody's made a play all game uh, other than the Christian McCaffrey 35-yard touchdown reception. So Purdy tries to make a hero ball throw. Cam Bynum gets him again. And uh, he'll get killed for trying to make a play in desperation time when nobody else will ever get killed for that, um, by the way. So... You know, if you want to grill him on one, I guess you grill him on the one that he's trying to play hero ball. He's trying to make the desperation play because, uh, again, they have no timeouts and the Vikings aren't giving them the sideline, obviously, uh, to get out of bounds. So you got to try to throw the ball over the middle. It is what it is. But really what I want to talk about is that every time I see like the end of the Iowa game, the end of the Iowa game on Saturday, I said, man, you know, that call for Cooper DeGene, that that invalid fair catch signal, that was terrible. And I'm an Iowa State fan. So, you know. Kill me if you want in the comments, but it is what it is. Uh, I thought that was a terrible call. And every time I say something about the officials, every time I say the Hunter Decker's targeting call last year against Texas, the Cooper DeGene play this past week against Minnesota, and, and uh, plenty of other uh, officiating – the Fail Mary, for instance, Green Bay, Seattle, uh, way back in the day. All these instances, all I hear from everybody, don't let it get to that one play. Don't let the officials determine the outcome of the game. Don't let one play determine your game. And all I got to say to that is the, the 49ers drove the ball down the field with ease immediately. They got the pick. Charvarius Ward got the pick on Kirk Cousins trying to throw it to Jordan Addison. Got the pick. Went right down the field. Christian McCaffrey fumbles in, inside the 10-yard line. No one's going to talk about that. No one's going to talk about Christian McCaffrey fumbling for the second time in 17 or 16 games or whatever with the Niners. Nobody's going to talk about that. Nobody's going to talk about Jake Moody missing a 40-yard field goal for the second straight week. By the way, he missed the game-winning field goal attempt last week when Purdy did successfully complete the game-winning drive uh, prior to that missed field goal. Nobody will talk about that. Nobody will talk about the uh, the missed field goal from Jake Moody, other than maybe Niners fans because they hate the kid already, which, by the way, Niners fans, uh, I'd let Jake Moody just keep doing it because I think Jake Moody, great kicker, uh, he'll be fine. He's a young guy that – Hadn't missed before last week. Granted, he's missed three in two games. One of them was a game winner, and one of them tonight potentially could have been a game winner. But, you know, I saw Mason Crosby miss, like, eight kicks in a game, and the the Detroit and Cincinnati games uh, a few years ago, he missed, like, 27 over those two games 
combined, and then he was pretty much fine outside of that. But anyway, that's all, that's all I want to say, is that the plays were there in the first half. The 49ers are down 14-0. And they should have been up 14 nothing. They should have been up 14 nothing, And they were down 14 nothing. Brock Purdy made all the plays in the first half, made all the plays through the third quarter. And, uh, you know, Jawan Jennings fucked up a route, and uh, then he tried to make a hero ball play. So I just want to throw that out there. If any, if any of you guys, by the way, want to argue with me, feel free to type uh, woelessly in the comments. Oh, Purdy sucks. He's overrated. System guy. By the way, I'll have you know, I don't have the stats pulled up. Uh, here, I can pull them up uh, very quickly here, by the way. Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey, this MVP running back. This guy that's supposedly all, oh, he's such hot shit. The last three games, 19 for 51, 11 for 43, and he got hurt, and 15 for 45 tonight. His best play was the uh, receiving touchdown from Brock Purdy. So Christian McCaffrey been a non-factor in the uh, in the last three games that he's played against Minnesota Cleveland and or the last two games excuse me he didn't run the ball well against Dallas but he did he obviously scored in all three of those games um yeah I Christian McCaffrey this all-world running back has fumbled twice in the last three games and hasn't performed well so I want to know where that guy's at but of course of course the blame will fall to the quarterback because Brock Purdy is is Mr. Irrelevant or something because we're still holding on to uh, the fact that he was very clearly underdrafted and is very clearly better than being the 262nd pick uh, in the NFL draft. But anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. Brock Purdy, uh, very clearly not the reason that the 49ers lost tonight. Uh, very clearly not the reason that they lost the last two games. Uh, despite how poorly he played against Cleveland. And by the way, I will say that. I will say that he didn't play his best game against Cleveland. I'll say that he played uh, not particularly well. I'd even say bad uh, against Cleveland. But uh, again, he made the throws when they mattered. Uh, and then tonight against Minnesota, uh, he had to play hero ball because nobody else was going to do a fucking thing. Uh, Brock Purdy, uh, still fine. I'm not con- I am concerned about their defense. The this This 49ers defense that was oh so great. Uh, gave up 378 yards to Kirk Cousins and 124 and two touchdowns to Jordan Addison. Uh, Justin Jefferson, by the way, still out, so they gave that up without Justin Jefferson. The Vikings still couldn't run the ball 73 yards. Um, but, yeah, that's that's really all I wanted to say. wanted to get this out there. Uh, instant reaction to the Vikings uh, beating the 49ers. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, <laughs> like I said, Brock Purdy had to play hero ball because nobody was going to do a goddamn thing. Brandon Ayuk disappeared the second half, by the way. I think he had all five of his catches for 57 yards in the first half. I don't know what the hell happened. Um, But, yeah, just just brutal. Just absolutely unfortunate. Um, Just just sucks. I mean, that's that's all there is to it. Not really uh, really anything else to say on that. So let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, Tell me that I'm an idiot because uh, I'm not. I'll, I'll have the all 22 footage on that Juwan Jennings play, by the way, uh, just so you guys can see what I'm talking about when it comes out. So look forward to that early in the week. We've got plenty of content coming up. I should be streaming again this next weekend. So, uh, looking forward to that and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.